this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video, and another video inside of Stampy's lovely world. And today, in this video, by no surprise, I am going to be joined by Elfily's sword. <laughs> His sword first, and then the bear himself. How are you doing today, Lee? Jump up and down if you're feeling good. Yay! What a jolly good song. Oh, you hovered then, you hovered. You just levitated a little bit. Have you got some have you got some magic blood in you? <gasps> Maybe Lee's a wizard. Maybe he's a wizard bear. Or a where, you could say. Or a blizzard. Maybe you're a blizzard. <laughs> you're a blizzard, Willy. <laughs> anyway, enough silliness. Let's have some cake, shall we? Let, let's let's have uh, ourselves some breakfast. I'm gonna have three big slices today. Num num. Numb. There we go. Do you want any any of the rest, Lee? Or are you or are you full up? Have you been up there scoffing cakes all night? That's what he does. He comes down in the morning. He gives me one cake, and then he's like, "Oh, I'm not very hungry today. You can have it all, Stampy." But he's been up there scoffing muffins all night. <laughs> anyway, let's go and head over to my love garden and add someone to it. If you don't know what my uh, love garden is, uh, it's basically uh, a garden of love where I look at a sign uh, with someone's name on it and say thank you to them for some reason. And uh, I'm always very careful not to to add people that keep asking to be added, though. By the way, so don't think if you keep like sending me loads of messages I'm gonna add you uh, they always have to have done something and Connor I uh, did exactly that he made some massive uh, cardboard cutouts of uh, myself uh, Lee and uh, ballistic squid and uh, I have no idea what he's gonna do with them where he's gonna put them they are absolutely huge and in the pitch you can actually see uh, a couple little hands uh, holding up Lee and squid in the background and I don't know who those hands belong to but a big shout out uh, to them as well so thanks for that Connor uh, I thought they were absolutely amazing and welcome uh, to my love garden you're in some uh, some very good company there's lots of uh, very talented and uh, nice people that I've added to my love garden uh, over over the uh, the past year so uh, yeah you should uh, be able to make a few friends and speaking uh, of friends uh, you all know where I'm gonna go you might have even heard that you might have even heard a bark there's actually the dog house is directly underneath my farm should I see if I can I can burrow oh whoa whoa <laughs> oh what's that oh that's long shot I thought that was Lee that I thought Lee turned into a, a much scarier bear <laughs> I should have mentioned long shot is uh, gonna be joining me as well and uh, gonna be helping me out uh, with what we're building but first I'm gonna try and get the dog right if I go straight through here I should. There we go. I landed straight into my doghouse, and I've made a big mess. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and clog that all up. There we go. I've got a new unconventional way of entering my doghouse. Hello, dogs. How are you all doing? And uh, hello, Lee. He's already uh, waiting here. Uh, who should I take with me then? I'm gonna take. Uh, I'll take Spring with me. I don't think I've uh, taken Spring with me uh, in a while. And Spring's always the guy up top. He always likes jumping up around and bounding on things. So uh, he can join me in the video. And I realise I've not yet mentioned. Uh, what it is I'm going to be building. I'm not building a game in my fun land. I'm not building a shop. Uh, I'm actually building a new mode of transport. Um, I've built a rocket so I can go to the moon. Uh, I've travelled through space on that. I've built a boat so I can sail the seven seas and go on uh, seafaring adventures. The last thing I need to do is venture under the sea. So today I'm going to be building my first ever submarine. And oh look, there's a, a little cake left here. Num 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 num. How convenient. I love the fact that there's always just random cakes left around my around my world for when I'm feeling peckish as I'm passing. Uh, so yeah, here you can see the SS Stumpy. And uh, right next to it down there, I'm going to be building a submarine. And it's going to be a little bit awkward. Come on, Spring, you can join me. And hello, Lee, you got up here very quick. Um, I'm all going down very quick as well, actually. <laughs> and uh, yeah, building submarines is a little bit awkward just because by nature they're underwater. And building underwater in Minecraft can be a little bit of a pain in the bottom so uh, it might be a, a little bit difficult to do but hopefully uh, I'm going to teach you an effective way uh, to be able to build underwater and clear out water and stuff. Failing that um, yeah, I'm just going to try and build underwater and it's going to be a big massive failure. But either way, we're going to get a submarine completed, if not in this video, at least uh, in the next few. I think the first thing to do, though, is spring. You are going to have to sit down here because I have learned my lessons. Dogs and water, as well as dogs and high places, do not mix. So spring, sorry, I hope you don't get bored, but you're going to have to sit there and behave. You you look after him, Longshot. You're in charge. You're my dog sitter today. You need to make sure spring's happy. I want spring to feel like royalty. You're going to bring him pork chops, bring him bones, give him melon so he can have a melon moment you can maybe take him for a walk a little bit later oh he's got a cake there we go that way spring should be absolutely happy and to be honest he's sitting there eating cake while we do all the work i kind of want to swap to be honest <laughs> anyway uh, of course as seen as it is a, a stampy vehicle i'm going to be building it out of uh, orange and white wall based after my very own fur and uh, so it's going to kind of look a little bit like that 
But because it's going to be underwater, it's going to look a little bit like a fish. And uh, the uh, the clownfish, you know uh, Nemo uh, from Finding Nemo? He's a clownfish. Uh, they are the uh, this sort of same sort of color of orange and white. So it might uh, look a little bit similar to that. So it's going to be very, very small. It's going to be a very small little cozy. It's only going to be a little two-man submarine. So uh, me and Lee can uh, set off on an adventure. Maybe have a little room for a, a dog kennel in the corner. Maybe I'm going to be able to uh, take a, a dog to join me as well. And now you don't need to build up anymore. This is going to be the top because it's all underwater. Uh, we're actually building the uh, the roof right now. And uh, this is the easy bit. I'm going to do this bit first because as soon as it's above water, I can build like I'd build anything else. The problem with uh, going underwater is that I'm a cat. And cats, like humans, need air to breathe, um, as do bears, I'm afraid. So the problem with building underwater is a little bit dangerous. Uh, so what's the, the, the best thing to do? is uh, to always have a load of torches on you because uh, if you put a torch down uh, it makes a little air bubble so you can breathe and uh, also um, signs as well uh, does the uh, the same thing it allows you to, to breathe underwater so let me go and try and get uh, the materials that I'm going to need and then let's venture under the water then shall we <gasps> luckily I am very good at breathing underwater while commentating as well so we don't need to worry about that so the first thing I'm going to do is uh, put down uh, a few signs around the place and uh, put some glowstone next to them just so we can we can light it up and yeah then we can go and uh, start building it and uh yeah, uh, I think you're. I think you guys are doing it wrong. It doesn't need to go straight down like this. Uh, if you, if I build the, uh, the the start, then you guys can uh, carry on building along a little bit. So it's going to go out here, and uh, once again, this is quite easy because I'm still kind of on the surface. And as I said, it's going to be absolutely tiny. The entire thing, uh, the width is only going to be three blocks. And uh, then going down the side here, it's going to be two blocks. So if I go down two blocks like that, and uh, carry on going like this, and uh, if I just sort of try and keep up with the pattern, uh, so it goes uh, three blocks of orange wool, uh, three blocks of uh, white wool, and uh, then a, uh, another. Oh god, need to breathe. Got to <laughs> can't forget to breathe. <laughs> yeah, then another uh, three blocks of uh, orange wool at the end. So if I keep going along like this, and then it just needs to go back in uh, the exact same way. Have I done this right? Uh, I, th I think this is just about right. So as I said, it is going to be very small, and then we're going to do uh, like a little bit poking up the top, uh, which is uh, how you uh, are going to be able to get in and uh, out of the uh, the submarine. If I get rid of that bit of wall here, I'm going to very quickly hop up and uh, have something else to breathe. And uh, what I was saying with the torches, by the way, if you just plonk one down, uh, you can breathe for like just one second, but Oh uh, yeah, don't don't get too relaxed because it then immediately disappears. So then you do have to go and uh, get a proper breath. And I hope we're doing this right. It does seem to be a little bit of a mess. I think we filled in a bit too much at first. And I need to stop speaking because <laughs> it's making me run out of breath even quicker. And be careful, Lee. Be careful, Lee. Put down a torch. There we go. We just managed to put one down in time. Uh, so that's going to go to there. And uh, then that is going to go back there. And there we go. Uh, this is this is uh, how it's going to be. I think Lee put down one uh, extra block there that we didn't need. But this is basically going to be the, the overall shape. So if we just fill this... Uh, along the the whole way to the end here uh, if we just go along down so that's two blocks down there and uh, yeah we need to go along like this uh, if i just get rid of uh, that block there and uh, make sure i switch to to white wall oh no i didn't switch to white wall i need to go and put white wall down there once again i need to breathe you can see why it's difficult glowstones also oh no that's me drowning that's me drowning oh no 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 no, no please don't drown please don't drown get up there we go Ooh, i just managed to get a breath there i need something to eat spring do you mind if i come and steal some of that cake i'm getting a, a little bit hungry it's hungry work swimming underwater you're not supposed to go swimming uh, just after eating i think especially cake so um <laughs> uh, yeah so I, you really shouldn't do this but oh well uh, we've nearly done it though we've nearly built the the overall shape and then the last thing we need to do uh, before building the uh, the interior is getting rid of all of the water and uh, the way you do that is basically fill in the the entire middle uh, which gets rid of all the water then destroy the blocks again and then all of the the water should stay gone and this this doesn't look right this does not look right to me it's got to be three blocks size this is very confusing try not to to fill in any blocks where they don't need to be because otherwise it gets very confusing if i get rid of uh, all of this here uh, if you get rid of yeah th this whole row here i think we've done it completely wrong actually this all needs to go uh, uh, along here and then uh, if you just look at the the first ring I did then copy along and uh, then it all should be the same so this needs to go uh, along like this and then it needs to go uh, one more out like this and then uh, I suppose it doesn't really matter about getting rid of the, the middle because uh, we're gonna have to get rid of it in a middle uh, in a minute anyway just to, to get rid of the the water uh, just get some kind of confusing as to which block uh, you want to destroy and uh, another good way of doing it if you were if you were building out of stone or something underwater you could fill it all up with wool or uh, wood and then you can just burn it and uh, then you don't have to worry about going through and uh, destroying all of the blocks again so if I just go along like this and fill this in along like that and then yeah then we can go inside and try and get rid of as much of the uh, the water as we can so if you guys go inside and fill it all full of dirt and then go and start destroying it again uh, I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna build a, a little bit poking out of the uh, the top up here so if I go up around like this I think 
and then if I go up, uh, I think I go up like that. I'm going to have a, a ladder going straight down the, the middle there to the bottom. And uh, that's going to be, uh, yeah, how you get in. So I'm going to very quickly hop up here, have another slice of cake. Sorry, Spring, you've not had very much of that cake, have you? Do I have some pork chops on me? There we go. I do have some pork chops on me. There we go. You can see his little head tilting. <laughs> he likes the pork chops. There you go. You can have some pork chops. And uh, then I'm going to go and uh, make some ladders uh, just so we can uh, be able to, to easily get in and out. And I'm going to do a trap door as well. If I do a, uh, a half slab, I think I'll just do for now. I might change this to, actually, yeah, I can do a smooth stone half slab I think if I got some uh, smooth stone on me there we go I got some smooth stone then if I make a uh, a trap door as well and then that can be our, our little entrance way so we can uh, we can get in and out and I can see someone's not breathing down there throw down a torch throw down a torch or a sign or something quick help each other out down there <laughs> bears are not aquatic animals oh no there goes long shot long shot's gone down I knew it would happen I knew it would happen to one of us <laughs> I'm sure he'll be back here in uh, just a second anyway so it doesn't matter right anyway let's go and put down the uh, that slab there and then if I put the the if I put the ladders in first might be easier if I put them going down uh, there and uh, like that and like that and then I can put the the trap door on top up here so this is going to be the the way we easily get in and out and I need to do a back to it now then I need to go and uh, uh, try and do a bit poking out and we're going to actually do a uh, propeller and we're going to use uh, some iron bars to make it kind of look like a propeller so if I go and fill uh, all of this in like this and then go down like this as well uh, to like that and I fill it all the way down to there I think and I fill that in here it's just going to make it like a, so it's a little bit more pointy uh, down at the bottom just to make it a bit different and by the way using a shovel you might think I'm being stupid using a, a shovel to get rid of the wall but it's actually really effective uh, I've got like a load of like extra efficiency and enchantments on my shovel uh, which actually makes it slightly more efficient than uh, actually using shears which is a uh, oh yeah definitely very handy when I'm building uh, a big submarine out of wool I'm not sure how many real submarines are actually made out of wool <laughs> I think they might just sort of suck up all of the water I don't think it'd be too effective but there we go that can be the end of the submarine and uh, right down here is where we can uh, we can build the propeller so let me go and uh, try and make some iron bars I should have some iron on me uh, I'm always rubbish at trying to find stuff like iron bars is it with fences there we go if I make uh, a few of these I probably didn't need to make 48 but there we go I got more than enough <laughs> and if I go and just place that there and then do one on the top and uh, then one on the bottom and then one on either side. Uh, that will should uh, kind of look a, a bit like a propeller. It always looks a little bit weird underwater. It does kind of look uh, kind of like what it should be though. Uh, I mean, it is quite dark under there. And here we go. Here's my submarine starting to, to take shape. I still think there's a few uh, a few messy weird bits all over the place. I think that needs to have got rid of. There we go. I think that's making it look a, a little bit more symmetrical. And uh, let's see how things are going down here. Let me just go and go straight through the top here and see how things are going. Oh, look, it's breathable. We can actually breathe in here. I think Lee's doing a, a pretty good job at placing it down and then getting rid of stuff. Let's put a few torches in here uh, so we can see uh, a little bit better. I think he's done it. I think he's managed to get rid of all of the water on the inside. We just need to be very careful. I'm not sure which blocks we're able to destroy. Uh, is this the floor here? And is that the sea? Surely it goes down lower than this, doesn't it? I think that, I think have we done all the ceiling too low? It seems, it does seem to be very cramped in here. I think we might be able to get rid of, yeah, we get rid of one above. There we go. Now we've got a, a little bit more headroom for ourselves. <laughs> and uh, there's also a leak. And a bear fell through. Long Longshot managed to get back. <laughs> Luckily, Longshot, we have now got rid of all of the water, so it should be uh, a lot safer. So let's go and uh, get rid of a, a bit more of the, the ceiling around here. And uh, let's see how far back we can go. I think we can go a little bit further back to about here. I think, is that going to be the edge? Yep, yep, that's what I expected. I expected a, a load of water to flood through. Uh, so let's make it so we can easily get in and out then. So there's actually going to be two rooms. Uh, at the front, there's going to be the, uh, the, the the driver's room. There's going to be uh, a window there, of course. We're not going to be driving blind, crashing into everything. And then, yeah, there's going to be a room in the back, which is going to be like a, a bedroom and living quarters where, uh, yeah, where we can hang out and play cards after a long day. You've got to be very careful what blocks you destroy around here. And Oh, careful, Lee. Careful, there's a, there was a ladder there. So if I'm going to have the, the doorway... Uh, yep, yeah, right there, Lee. And uh, if you put down a, uh, an iron door, if you've got some, you can put one down there and uh, a few pressure pads. Uh, what I'm going to do is uh, go to the front, and I think it might actually be easier to, to work out uh, doing the, the front from the outside, even though it's going to be annoying having to, to do it uh, under the water. So let's put down a, a few torches so I can see what I'm doing. And uh, it's all, it's all going to be orange wall and uh, then glass uh, for the big window on the front. So I'm going to kind of do it uh, the same as I did the back. If I go and fill all of this in like uh, this and then go down to that. Is that the same? It's still, it's still not properly done right. I think it's still like the bottom's too long. Uh, that should only be three blocks along and I think it's five, which is uh, which is kind of confusing me. But it uh, should be kind of like this. And then the, the, the front should go like this. 
And uh, that is going to be the uh, the window that you look at. And we just need to get rid of uh, just two stripes of wall down there. Then it'll be uh, completely symmetrical. And I think I should add some like some fins as well. If I do uh, two bits poking out like that. And then if I go do the, the same down the back. And that can kind of be like as if how we steer it. If I do some, I do some there, and I do one on the the other side as well, as if uh, that's how we that's how we're going to be able to steer this thing. And then let's go and start building some of the inside. Then let's go put down some seats and some uh, control panels and that, just to make sure we can, uh, yeah, control this thing as we're sailing underwater. So hopefully, if I get rid of this, I'm going to be able to see the glass on the outside. And there's obviously a leak somewhere. <laughs> this is obviously not a good idea. Where's there a leak then? I, I must have uh, left, a, left a gap somewhere. And uh, no, unless this is just water that was here anyway. If I go and do this, I probably shouldn't do glass because it's a waste. There we go. It was water that was actually inside of the uh, the ship, I think. If I go and try and place that round the corner there. And then if I go and get rid of that again. There we go. I've managed to, to get rid of the leak. That is not something you want when you're at the, the bottom of the ocean. If you see a leak when you're in a submarine, uh, yeah, that does not... That does not mean uh, uh, anything good for yourself. So if I go and do that there, and then I can go and get rid of this... Um, uh, this bottom row here. No, no, I didn't mean to get rid of that window. I got rid of another one as well, did I? <laughs> I smashed them really quick. If I do that and do that, and then there's a little leak down here as well. If I can go and fill this in, if I go like that, that, and that, uh, then there we go. There's our there's our window at the, the front of the ship, and I'm going to put down some... Actually, I can get rid of this and this, I think. Yeah, there we go. If I can get rid of these, uh, then I can put a, uh, a seat down at the front and a uh, control panel. Oh, sorry, Lee. Sorry, Lee. <laughs> what does this say here? Uh, going to have to... Okay, I think Lee's going to have to shoot off, but that's okay. Uh, we've pretty much managed to get the uh, the entire outside finished, which is really all I plan to do in this video. And uh, can we go down one more? No, we can't. I'm, I'm sure the, the windows uh, should be a little bit higher, but there's no there's no gap up here. Uh, I think it looks okay though. I think this this is looking okay. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and start and try and build some of the um uh, some of the living quarters. So I think I'm gonna have a bed on either side down here, and then can I get rid of these blocks? <laughs> I'm always scared every block I break just in case uh, a load of water is gonna go flying in. Sorry, excuse me, long shot. And so yeah, I'm gonna put down a uh, table and chair at the the end down there. Uh, so I'm gonna need to make a, a very quick crafting table, and I'll plonk this uh, here for now. And then I'm gonna go and uh, make a uh, a couple beds, uh, which I'm gonna put either side. I'll be with you in one sec. Long float. I'm just gonna carry on building this. Actually, I'm gonna do the uh, the beds the other way round. Uh, if I go and make uh, another bed, and I'm gonna go and do this on this side over here. And then I'm going to make a, a very quick table and chair. So what should we make the, the chairs out of? Let's use... I probably shouldn't use stone. I don't think stone uh, is going to be a good thing in a submarine. I think it just make it uh, might make it completely sink. Then again, I suppose that's kind of what... <laughs> that's what submarines are, are supposed to do. So if I do a, uh, a fence, and I'm going to do my, my sort of standard type of uh, uh, table that I like to do. And I'm going to do a, uh, a stone pressure plate, uh, which I'll put on top of that. So that's where we can sit and have our, our melon moments while we're, while we're sailing under the water. If I go and put that uh, down there. And I might do a painting as well. It's all looking a, a little bit bland in here. I mean, the orange is a nice bright colour, uh, but I think there, there should be a few more decorations I should add. So if I uh, make some sticks, uh, I'll be able to, to make a painting and uh, I can go and plonk that down just in the middle. Oh, no, it won't let me place it there. Uh, can I get rid of that block there or is that going to flood in a load of water? It's going to flood in a load of water. <laughs> Sorry, I don't want to bring back traumatic memories for you, Longshot, for when you were stuck down here. I can just put the paintings uh, above our beds, I guess, then. If I try and get just a little one block one, there we go. That can be my bed down there. And uh, then if I go and make uh, another painting, I can do one uh, on top of Lee's, Lee's bed over there. That looks that looks very nice. Little spring doesn't sound very happy. <laughs> I think it's because I accidentally lo uh, hit long shot. I think you might have heard it all the way from over there. Well, let's go and uh, put a door in then, shall we? If I do an iron door, and uh, then I make a, a couple stone pressure plates, uh, just so I want the, the whole thing uh, to look nice and modern in here. And uh, I go and plonk down the, the door there. And uh, then go and uh, put this pressure plate here, and then another pressure plate down there. There we go. We've got our our two little our two little separate rooms, and uh, this is where the the control panel is going to be. And so uh, I might build that in the next video or between videos. I'm going to do a seat here, uh, so you can then go and like look out the window, and I'm going to do a control panel with a lever and stuff uh, to make it so you can fly it. Uh, but it should now just be about becoming day. Uh, so <laughs> bye, Lee. Bye. <laughs> I'm going to go up here, and I'm going to have the uh, the first look at it uh, from the from the outside. Um, it's going to be kind of hard to see because it's all underwater but you can kind of see what it looks like i think it does actually look a bit like a submarine it's very small uh, it's very petite and uh yeah very cozy but i kind of like it we're going to do uh, a few lights on the inside 
Uh, I might go and do some. I actually might do that very quickly. And I might go and make some uh, some redstone lanterns. And are you okay, Spring? Oh, he's sat up to attention now. He's sat up to attention. You're supposed to be looking after him, Longshot. He's not happy. He's there growling. <laughs> he's supposed to be treated like royalty in this video. And he doesn't sound very happy about something. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually do some uh, some light switches. Uh, if I go and... Uh, oh, careful, Longshot. I can just see the hole, appear, the hole appear there in the submarine. Uh, if I go back down here and I place that there and that there. And then if I do a lever in the middle... Then Done. Look at that. It's got light switches straight away. Then if I go and do the, the same back here. Okay, there's probably not really actually room in here unless I did it up there. But yeah, you can kind of imagine uh, how this uh, submarine uh, is going to end up being. Uh, so sadly, uh, we have just about run out of time in this video. I should be uh, finishing off my submarine in uh, my next video. And uh, then after that, I can go and uh, take it for a spin and go sailing around under the water. Anyway, I want to say a big thank you to uh, Longshot and Elfa Lee for joining me in this video. Uh, also, a very big thank you to you for watching. And I will see you all later. Bye!